Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the rest pose from A pose to T pose. And this should work for any character, but I'm going to use a character from the human generator add-on. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is add a character. Then I'll give it some clothing because that is part of the process. Now I have a character in my scene and it's in an A pose. I'm going to select the armature. Hold control, press tab, and go into pose mode. I'm going to turn on mirroring on the X axis. I'm going to hit one on the number pad and go ahead and move this guy into a T pose. Okay, next I'm going back into object mode and I'm going to select a mesh and I will be adding and applying some modifiers, but Blender will not let you apply modifiers to a mesh that has shape keys. So I'm going to go to this object data properties tab and my shape keys are here in this window under shape keys. And the first thing that I like to do on the body mesh with the human generator add on is to turn off the shoulder shape keys. And then the same thing for the shirt mesh, turn off the shoulder shape keys. And that's because with this particular add-on, when you position the arms in certain positions, the shoulders blow up like balloons. They look really weird and distorted or deformed. And I don't want that. So I get better results if I just turn those shape keys off. The next thing that I'm going to do is open up this menu here and apply all shape keys. I'll select the body mesh again, open up this menu and apply all shape keys select the pants and I'm going to open up this menu and apply all shape keys. Same thing for the shoes. Open up this menu and apply all shape keys. The reason we have to do that is because all of these meshes are affected by the armature. When you move and pose the armature, all of these meshes move with it. So we need to apply the shape keys on all of those. The next thing I'm going to do is start with the body. I'll go into the modifiers tab here and I'm going to find the armature modifier. I'll go into this menu right here and duplicate it. Now I have a duplicate armature modifier. I'm gonna hover my mouse over it. I'm gonna hold control and press A to apply that modifier. Next, I'll select the shirt, find the armature modifier. I'm going to open this menu and duplicate. Hover my mouse over this and hold control and press A again to apply or you can apply from the menu. Next, I'll select the pants, find the armature modifier, duplicate it and apply the duplicate armature. Next, I'll select the shoes, duplicate the armature, and apply the duplicate. Now that I have applied the duplicate armature for all of these meshes, you'll see that it's in a weird position. That's okay, that's part of the process, and it all works out in the end. I'm going to select the armature again, go into pose mode with control tab. I'm going to hit A to select all bones, and I'm gonna come up here to the pose tab, come down here to apply, and apply as rest pose. And that's it. Now my character's rest pose is a T pose. I can demonstrate this by changing the pose. And then I'll select all bones. And if I come over here and clear all transforms, you'll see that it reverts back to its T pose. This is the new rest pose. This should work on any character. Just remember that any meshes that are affected by the armature, if there are shape keys, you'll have to get rid of the shape keys by applying them. The opposite should apply. If you have a character in T pose and you need to put it in an A pose, you should be able to achieve the same thing by applying the same steps. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel. And thank you for watching.